Hi guys, it's Duncan here from Business Part Repsy once again. Uh, guys, I thought I would just run through the settings of Repsy, how the application is actually set up um, and the uh, permissions you can give your reps in the field, but also some of the permissions that will filter through on the back office. So under your settings, Cock, you simply go and you click on settings. The settings page you're going to see next, I'll explain in another video. But what I really want to concentrate on is, um, if you scroll down, your application settings. Okay, just a point to note of territories over here, which will, will be included in this application settings. So if you click on application settings, you come to a screen with a number of, of tabs. So really, um, how is the device in the back of a setup with regards to, to places? So those are your client lists. So if we look at this first tab, are you going to allow your reps to add a place by the mobile app? Yes or no? Now obviously, if you don't want them to do this, you can untick uh, this, this box and then save. Then when they do add a place, uh, is it assigned to, to the rep um, automatically? Uh, and there's a number of reasons you might want to do this, um, but you know, so that you don't have to do it later on. Can it be assigned straight away? But also, if you don't want the other reps to see this place, it'll then get assigned straight away. Do you allow them to edit place records? So there is a facility where they can keep the customer records up to date. Um, if you do not want them to, to keep this up to date and rather manage it from the back office, you then would untick this box. How are you going to filter your, your clients or your places on the mobile app? So either you can do it by territory uh, or you can open it up completely. So, you know, obviously if you if you switch that off, the next uh, line disappears. But um, you can either filter it by territory, but just remember then that your clients uh, need to be assigned correctly to territories and your reps. Um, or you can uh, filter it by reps. So this means that if I'm assigned to 10 clients, I'm the only one who will see those 10 clients. You can have more than one rep obviously assigned to clients. Um, so whoever is assigned to those clients will see those reps, okay? So no one else will see it. And then finally, when uh, reps are assigned, um, if customers are not assigned, then what happens with them? Does someone see them or does no one see them? So again, you would just simply tick this box to, to make a decision there. Then around representative itself, uh, do you want to enable reps to see other rep activity? So on our new mobile CRM, there's an activity feed where reps can see what each other's um, activities are and what they're actually up to. Um, you know, there's a lot of team collaboration um, benefits around it. So really, uh, if you enable this, they can see each other's activities, but you can also um, switch that off. Do you want to enable reps to upload photos from their mobile device gallery? So in 90%, 99% of the time, I actually would say no. Um, you want the reps to be taking those photographs live and feel they're not actually capturing from a gallery. In an instance where, you know, photos are sent by a customer to a rep, you know, then obviously it's handy, but uh, those would be in specific instances. But I would prefer that off. Um, showing active reps in web page. So this obviously is on the website side. And this will just show, um, you know, old reps or reps that have perhaps left the business if you want to still filter on um, some of the activities and things that uh, you would like to see. From a schedule point of view, would you like your reps to be able to add or edit their schedules? Uh, in you know, quite a few cases, the back office managers don't want the reps to be manipulating their schedules, so then you would untick the box. Okay, so whatever suits your business. Territories, so I showed you territories in, in that uh, the first settings page. If this is not ticked on, that, that territories in the first settings page will actually not appear. So if you want to utilize territories, you're going to need to come in here, tick the territories box, and then you can build your territories as required on the, on the other page. Okay, so do you want to be able to group reps and place by territory? And that's, that's as simple as it is. Electronic signature. So obviously, do you want the signature feature to be switched on for forms and orders or off? Um, you know, nine, again, 90 to 95%, 9% of our customers will actually have these on set as default. And then finally, emailing from mobile device. So if you'd like to give your, your reps the ability to actually, once they've placed an order or completed a form or report, to actually email that directly from their device to an email address that they, they choose, um, you know, you need to tick this on. Just a point to note here, the under the representative's profile, uh, they must have an email address loaded. If they do not have that loaded, you know, unfortunately, they will not be able to, to email. So I hope uh, that has been, um, you know, quite a quick and concise overview of the application settings. Any more questions, go to 
info at businesspod.net. Uh, you're welcome to drop us an email, um, but otherwise have a great day.